This is crazy. This thing is not supposed to go 42 miles an hour. Hey guys, it's Ginger on Wheels here. Thanks for stopping by the channel where we're gonna test a 35 to 40 mile per hour electric scooter today. This is called the Ku Kirin G3 Pro. It's a 52 volt scooter with dual 1200 watt motors and it's actually really nice. It's very comparable to the VSET 10 Plus, except it's hundreds of dollars less. So I'm gonna roll the intro, we'll hop on the scooter, ride it around, and I'll tell you everything I know about it. All right, so before we do the full ride video, we're gonna go to like a nice little secluded area. We'll do a walk around of the scooter. I'll show you what we're working with. Let's see, we're in speed mode two right now. I've got the acceleration set to two out of five. It was a little too jerky for me at five out of five, but we're clocking 26 miles per hour. <laughs> it's got a bug in my mouth. It does have the hybrid 10 inch tires, the same ones as the VSET 10 plus that I had on before my PMTs. We're gonna sneak down here. So we're able to do this off-roading stuff with the uh, hybrid off-roading tires. This is where I was gonna go. This is like a little uh, gospel area. We can preach about the kook here in G3 Pro. Oh, that was fun, nice and zippy through the trails. Okay, so here it is. Let's get a nice look at it. It's got a nice big display right here that shows the miles per hour, the voltage. And it's actually the only scooter I've seen so far that shows if you're in single or dual motor mode. See, it says dual, and then you switch it to single, it says single. So you don't have to just test by pulling the throttle and saying, oh, that's really powerful. Yep, that's dual. It's one of the only scooters that you can actually see if you're in single or dual. It's really cool. I didn't mean to rhyme like that, but you know, it worked out. So it's got very comfortable grips. They like fit the exact shape of my hand when I hold onto the scooter handlebar. It's pretty nice. It's got keys, obviously, right here. Set of two keys. Probably shouldn't ride with them both at the same time, but I'm just doing a demo right now. So you turn the keys and then you hold this button down here for three seconds and then the scooter just turns on. And you tap that same button to change speed modes. So it says the speed mode right here. I'm in speed mode two. I'll tap that button. Now we're in speed mode three. I've got three miles on the scooter total since I left my house. And I have to say, very fun, quite zippy. I'm in Pressed. It's only 52 volts. It feels a lot like the VSET 60 volt scooters, but dual 1200 watt motors as opposed to, I think VSET is dual 1400 watt motors, but hundreds of dollars cheaper. And check out this really cool feature it has. It has a lock right here. You can put in your own combination in the lock and then pull this open. You pull this plug just like this, boop. And then you can pull the entire scooter battery out like this, and you can you can have a spare battery at work or at your house, or you can carry it in your backpack if you're okay with lugging around like 25 pounds. You can just swap the battery out with a new freshly charged one. So double the range. It does not come with the spare battery pack, but we can do that, lock it up, put in a combination if you wanna set one. It's got a little waterproof cover here, bam, there you go. So let's turn it on. It's got the thumb throttle that we're seeing on a lot of scooters now, and it's got dual hydraulic brakes. Oh, let's turn the fire light off. It's XOD is the brakes. There's single piston hydraulic brakes, front and back. It's got the same uh, folding mechanism as the High Boy Titan Pro. It's very secure. Like as tight as you can tighten this is as tight as the bars go, and it feels rock solid. Zero play in the bars. So really nice job with that thing. I think we're gonna be seeing this folding mechanism on a lot more scooters, no, no doubt. It's got a headlight here that is a definite upgrade from the VSET 10 Plus. You can see it's got two bulbs and they're pretty bright. So we're not messing around with the little dinky headlight on the VSET 10 Plus anymore. And it does have the two runner lights in the front of the deck also, as well as the side lights, which show up when you have the lights on in the front and the back here. Tail lights, light right here. When you hit the brakes and the lights are on, that rear light just flashes. So it looks just like that. That's the brakes are on. It's got an upgrade from the VSET 10 Plus in the fact that the fenders are much wider and a little bit longer, so they're gonna be a lot better at deflecting mud. The VSET 10 Plus did get really close with the fenders, but I really like the ones on this. They're a lot wider, and I think they're gonna do a much better job in the rain. We do have turn signals up top, this little switch. You can turn it left and turn it right. As opposed to the VSET where it's timed, you push the little button in the bar and then it's timed for 30 seconds, so can't turn it off, that's kind of annoying. But you can see with the blinker here, I can turn it on, I can turn it off. You do get a horn, another upgrade feature from the Visa 10 Plus, check out this horn, it actually horns. That's a horn, proper horn, folks. 
not the little weird beeping noise that the VSET 10 Plus has. And check out this display. The 2023 VSET that just came out, the newer version, has a similar LCD display to this, but this is just the Kukirin version. It's got a more accurate battery gauge than the VSET one. The VSET one just shows five bars. This one has 10 bars. Um, it does have a latch right here. This goes, uh, hooks down right into there when you fold the scooter, and then you can pick the scooter up by the handle so it's locked in. As far as suspension goes, it has got spring suspension, single spring suspension in the front and back, and it's got 2,000 pound uh, springs. It's got a 23 amp hour battery. I do have a spare one, so I've got uh, 46 amp hours, dang. Um, that's gonna give me somewhere around like a 50 to 60 mile range just riding around. But that's enough chit chat. Let's hop on the scooter, ride it around. I'll tell you what I think about it and hopefully we can get it all done before the sun goes down. All right, let's hop on this thing before I get totally eaten alive by mosquitoes. Right now I'm in speed mode one, single motor mode. So I think the top speed's around 15 miles per hour and very gentle torque, quite nice. The scooter has got a great deck to bar height for taller riders. Let's go ahead and pop it into dual motor mode. Ooh, yeah, even though it's 52 volts, we can still burn out the front tire. And that's in speed mode one. Let's put it in speed mode two. Whoa! Yeah, this thing is fun off-road. I don't know how much it weighs. If I imagine having the uh, removable battery feature adds a few pounds of extra metal, but still feels pretty light and nimble. All right, let's pop it in the road, speed mode three, and see what the top speed is according to this speedo. All right, let's go. 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 31, 35, 37, 38. That's not supposed to go that fast. It does go 40. Oh wow, 41. Okay, this is a little bit downhill. This is crazy. This thing is not supposed to go 42 miles an hour. Wow, impressive. I guess we are near full charge, but still, that's impressive. 52 volt scooter. Would you look at that? It'll pop on my turn signal, and we can just camp out in the turn lane, because I guess we're as fast as cars now. I'm gonna go rip through this park. It is a beautiful day, it's like sunset, and this park is really fun to rip through, barring there's uh, no people on the trails. All right, see the turning radius on this thing? Just pretty much turn it in a complete circle. That's really cool. It's like the VSET 10 Plus until you add that steering damper on there. Wow, there's so many people at the park. This is like the most people I've seen at the park playing unorganized sports ever. And there's kids all over the playground. I guess it is that time of year. It's the time of year to get out and have fun. Go buy an electric scooter though, if you're a cool kid. Could be better. The VSET 10 Plus suspension, I will say, is a bit pillowier. This is a little bit stiffer, which is good for high speed riding. I don't know if you remember, but our VSET 10 Plus tire was chattering because the suspension is too loose. But uh, it leaves a little bit to be desired off road, I will say. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Look at where you're going. This scooter seems like it's geared to be a 25 to 30 mile per hour street shredder. All weather, definitely all weather. Yeah, we're getting 30 miles per hour even up this big hill. I really, really, really like the fact that you can see if you're in dual or single motor mode on the display. It's like finally someone made a display that's actually geared around electric scooters instead of recycling an e-bike display. I can look down and just verify that I'm in dual motor mode, speed three, and hop into traffic. These hydraulic brakes feel pretty nice. I like that the, the levers, the actual brake levers are longer than the zoom brake. So you have more leverage on the lever and it's easier to pull. This thing does have sine wave controllers also. I don't know if I mentioned the VSET scooters do not, but the VSET has, I think the simulated sine wave controllers. They're really, really close. Let's see if I can pull off going down in this road. This is like a 40 mile an hour road. A very quick one. Most people will go 50. All right, baby. Top speed test. The Speedo says 42. I'm going as fast as the cars in front of me and the speed limit is 40 on this road. So I think I'm going 40 miles an hour. This thing really does go 40. 40. I thought for sure that was gonna be an overblown spec and like unattainable for somebody my size. But wow, here we are, pretty sweet. I presume you have to be on or very darn near close full charge like I just am, but uh, you can get there. Hydraulic brakes bring me to a nice secure stop. 
and we can keep cruising. I like this display. I can just look down and see exactly how fast I'm going. It's right dead center. It's not off to the side, plus it's very well lit. It's hard for the camera to pick up, but it's really easy to see in person. It's not hard to see at all in person. This is very much a hybrid scooter. It's got nice springy suspension and the uh, hybrid tires. So we are gonna do a little bit of off-road and what do you say? We'll bring it onto a proper off-roading trail. And we're gonna sneak in front of all the cars because that's literally why I love scooters. Uh, look at this gap right here. This is like a 20 foot gap. No one needs to leave that much space. But if you're going to, hey, I'm gonna take it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the off-road section. If you'll please fasten your seatbelts, put your tray tables in the upright position. Here we go. Let's put it into a dual motor mode and have a nice little rip down this trail. This is one of my most fun trails to ride down. I should have more gear on, but it's too hot out today. Rolling the dice. Oh, there's a kid on a bike up there. I see you, kid on a bike. Don't worry. Oh, she pulled off the trail. Hi. Yeah, all the bumps in the uh, dirt right here translate a little bit more to the handlebars. It's quite a bit bumpier than the VSET 10 Plus off-road. I believe it's the same size suspension as the VSET 10 Plus, just uh, stronger or more stiffer springs. So you could get the uh, EXA Form 291R shock and uh, have the fully adjustable compression and rebound adjustments. Or you can just quit being picky like me and stick with the stock suspension because it's really not that bad cruised off-road pretty easily back there. In speed mode three, the throttle is, it feels very on or off, I don't like it. And we're even in the um, two out of five acceleration mode. And it still feels like it's real, it just pulls so hard right in the middle. There's like a power band in the middle. Speed mode two, single motor mode, with the uh, acceleration set to two out of five. This is very comfortable. Nice smooth acceleration, decent top speed. I imagine we could probably get 25 still, let's check. That's not bad at all. Oh, okay. I guess I am pretty hard to see in my bright yellow t-shirt. Well, as fun as this is, let's get back in the road because that was a lot more fun. 37 miles an hour, I'll take it. And this is around like 70% battery. On perfectly level ground with a 230 pound rider. If you're lighter than me, like most of you probably are, you're gonna get 40 miles an hour. And the Visa in sport mode with me gets 44 miles an hour. So the manufacturer, it feels like has kind of overclocked this scooter. It's going a little bit faster than the specs should justify. And I did hear some horror stories about the Kukirin G2, uh, like all the controllers were blowing. So I really hope that they've thought the scooter through and the controllers aren't gonna blow. I do have a spare battery, like I said, so I'm gonna be doing a pretty high speed range test. I'll blow through both the batteries and we'll see if the controller fries. I'll do it on a nice warm day so we can see if they can actually handle it or not. But if you're interested in seeing what the scooter can do as far as range goes and endurance abilities, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That'll be the next video. So I don't know if I mentioned it, but somebody in the comment section of the little short video that I made did, they noticed that this scooter is the same as the Roadrunner RS5. But uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but the RS5 costs a couple hundred dollars more. So this scooter is definitely a better value than the Roadrunner RS5. And also, I think I have a coupon code for you guys. If you try the coupon code GINGER with capital G, I think it gives you an extra 50 or $40 off. So there's your little Easter egg, the thanks for waiting for the end. You guys that watch the whole videos are definitely the OGs. I appreciate you guys, but I'll catch you guys for the next one. I gotta run for now. I'm gonna go inside and edit this one and then go for a nice little night ride.